15.2 ecosystem what are its components now let us discuss about ecosystem what is meant by ecosystem as we learned earlier living organisms like plants animals and human beings on earth lives in different surroundings with interaction among themselves and also with interaction of non living things like air water and land why the interaction between living and non living occurs the interaction of organisms with non living constituents of environment not only helps them to survive but also to maintain a balance in nature such interaction is called as ecosystem the ecosystem consists of two components they are biotic components abiotic components biotic components include living organism abiotic components includes all physical factors like temperature rainfall wind soil minerals organic substances like carbohydrates proteins etc inorganic substances like carbon dioxide hydrogen etc for example garden consists of different types of plants and animals which survive by interaction with each other hence garden is an ecosystem some other examples of ecosystem are forests ponds lakes crop fields etc in our earlier class we have learned based on the method of sustenance or livelihood the organisms obtain from environment they are classified as producers consumers and decomposers producers are the organisms which can synthesize their food on their own by the process of photosynthesis example all green plants blue green algae etc consumers are the organisms which depend on producers either directly or indirectly by feeding on other consumers consumers are classified as carnivorous omnivorous parasites Do you ever think what happens if an organism die? For example, if we don't clean the aquarium with fish and plants for many days, then the organism die. The microorganisms which includes bacteria, fungi, etc., breaks down the dead remains and waste products of an organism. Here, the microorganisms are decomposers which break down the complex organic substance into simple inorganic substance. These simple inorganic substances go into soil and are used by plants for its processes. The garbage, dead plants and animals are decomposed by decomposers which involves in the natural replenishment of the soil. Generally, the groups of organisms are dependent on other organisms for feeding. For example, plants are eaten by pests, pests are eaten by frogs, frogs are eaten by snakes, etc. In this way series of organisms depends on one another for feeding